Good morning, everybody. I am up early as usual and on my way to go drop Nevaeh off to school. And then I'm gonna come back because I got a little laundry to do. Gotta wash our blankets and stuff. And then I got to do payroll. So other than that, everything's been going good. Hope everybody's having a good morning. And it is officially rainy out here where we are right now. And beautiful supposedly san diego california so yep we got rain right now and it is not pretty but we need it right so that's the latest and the greatest for our weather today in beautiful sunny california san diego california shall i say other than that what else do i have to do today not too much today because i'm not trying to be out in the rain so um, I was supposed to go get her dress hemmed up, her flower girl dress for the wedding. But since it's raining, I really don't want to put, <clears throat> bring it out in the rain and have it get messed up. So, um, unfortunately, I'm going to have to wait until probably tomorrow. Hopefully, it'll stop raining and it'll clear up tomorrow so I can get go and take it and get it done. Yeah, that's going on with that. Um, what else? I got the boy suits and things together for the wedding, so I'm gonna purchase those. Um, all my fiance's guys, his groomsmen, have gotten their suits fitted finally. It took an uh, arm and a leg to pull them in order to get it done. Because if you don't stay on people, even though they're grown folks, unfortunately, they don't do what they're supposed to do. So, like kids, we had to sit up there and constantly get on them and remind them to go do what they have to do as far as getting their fitted for their suits and things like that uh, what else uh, all our stuff is paid for for our wedding um, I had to get some helpers there's um, a wedding event that we worked at the venue where we're having our wedding at because we do do security for um, like I said we do have our own security company and we were doing security for an event at the venue we're having ours at and um, there was some girls that were there helping clean up the event and things like that and they're um, basically, uh, it's a business ran by some other, um, another woman and she has helpers come in. They basically, their job is just to clean up behind parties and things like that after the party is over and stuff. So you won't have to worry about doing it. And so it was very fortunate that I was able to work the event that night that the girls were there because at the time I was actually looking for, on how we were gonna get everything cleaned up after it was done. Cause I didn't want to come the next morning to clean everything up. Um, the way that the rules are for the venue, you have it for 24 hours straight. So for, you know, the whole 24 hours. And um, since our ceremony or our reception at the venue is going to be at 6 p.m. Um, on our wedding day, I didn't want to have to worry about coming back the next morning before 10 a.m. to clean the venue up. Or for that matter, having any of our family members do it. So we hired the three girls you know to get that stuff done and they basically during the reception they're there to help you know with the plates and get everything cleaned up and everything basically just to clean up so they're there to do that so that took some stress off of me because i was really bummed out and stressed about that trying to figure out what i was going to do as far as getting the venue clean and everything and then the day after my wedding the last thing i want to do is wake up early and have to go back and worry about oh crap did this get clean did that get clean so that's taken care of thank god um what else I think that's about it other than that you guys we've just been planning and trying to get stuff together and situated for this wedding and it's been very tiring and i'm not gonna say stressful it's been fun some things have been stressful I'm trying to get people coordinated and work around everybody's schedule so we can get everything done as far as rehearsal and stuff so um yeah other than that everything's fine uh this is gonna be a very short vlog because i don't have much to talk about everything's still the same with me I did a couple of grocery vlogs, um, grocery hauls, so you guys can check those out on my channel as well. I do have two channels. I have um, Brandy Avantgarde Olsen, and then I have B Davis AGSS INC Olsen. So you guys can go check both of those out. Um, each channel has different things. Some has grocery hauls. The other ones, um, I mean, grocery hauls and other miscellaneous stuff. The other one has like my purse, what's in my purse videos. Um, I do have makeup videos that's going to be coming. And I want to do a tutorial on, which will probably be this morning since I didn't do makeup on my this morning. Oh, that's another thing I need to go get done between today and tomorrow. 
I go get an oil change done on this car, so. And then I need to have them check the tire pressure on here because my tire pressure lights are on. But other than that, yeah, that's about it. And do you guys see my nails? I went and got them repainted and got the gel put on them. Um, I went and got my nails done last week at my nail shop that I usually go to. And I did not like how this lady did my nails at all. For one, she didn't do them the length I want them. Usually I get them longer than this. Two, the color I had her put on. Usually when I get my nails colored, I have them put gel on it because the gel makes it last longer and stuff and it doesn't chip or anything. But my dumb behind didn't get the gel put on there this time and my nails, I was in a rush because I had to go interview this young lady for a position at one of our sites and I didn't get a chance to let the nails dry under the thing. So um I'm not saying that that's her fault that was my fault because i rushed it and she kept telling me be careful with my nails because they weren't dry so they were dry to me at least i thought they were so i went ahead and left and unfortunately my nail polish got jacked up really bad so i had to go and it was like a dark pretty uh plum purple that i got done on it but it looked so jacked up it was so jacked up you guys my fiance when i showed him my nails he was like why does it look like they're messed up he's like you just got these done and i said yeah that's how bad they look so that's embarrassing go ahead get up so that's what i had to get down for that oh, wait by the trash can i'm gonna pick you up but that's what i had to get done so i had to go get that done and now they look so much better hopefully you guys can see that really good so this is um bye mom bye this is the um the silver well not silver it's glitter glitter polish basically and it's called glitter uh, gel polish so basically what it is the polish has um gel in it already so <clears throat> it's supposed to last longer than the regular gel that they put on top of your nails after you have your nails polished so say for instance you're going to get your nails done and you get the polish put on there and then they put the gel coat on top of it and then you got to sit up under the little nail thing for it to the uv thing for it to the gel to dry on the nails instead i got the polish that has the gel in it that way once she put it on or whatever she just took the alcohol and then wiped the the remainder of the remnants of the stuff off and it was done i didn't have to send it to no dryer thing i didn't have to do any of that or put any um dry coat fast dry coat on top of it so i'm excited about that so my nails look way much better and i'm thinking about actually having them done like this for the wedding i talked to my fiance and he loves it he likes it a lot um so i was thinking about having it done like this and then have like since our colors are apple red and silver have this and then have the apple red hearts put in the middle like have them do a heart design in the middle of my ring finger or either in, in the middle of each nail so we'll see we'll see how it goes oh and it, that's another thing i was going to tell you guys so yesterday um i came to pick my son up from preschool and are you gonna go you guys these people in san diego don't know how to drive worth crap oh god that's the only thing i hate about coming to this school they like Okay, so, uh, <clears throat> hmm, she gonna let me in, probably not, okay, she is, nice, okay, so these people got a little bit of courtesy, um, so yesterday I came up to pick my son up from his preschool, and I noticed his teacher, like, one of the parents brought the teacher some flowers, and I'm like, what's going on, so I thought it was just a little nice gesture, because, you know, you do got nice people in the world, but I was talking to the teacher aide that helps out in the classroom and she was telling me that it was the teacher's last day. So the principal at this school decided to go on a firing spree. Nobody knows why. And damn. So nobody knows why. And she fired not just his teacher, a whole bunch of other teachers for this school. And so they're doing an investigation. They have the news and stuff out here i didn't know anything about it so i came and dropped him off yesterday and um i guess a lot of the parents had already watched it on the news and knew about it because when the teacher that his teacher that got fired when she came to school yesterday that's how she found out about it so she didn't even know so yeah so this i i just think that that is like really messed up i feel really bad for her because not just because she has kids and she has a family that she has to support of course but just the fact that you walking into your job and you did not know that you that's your last day of work and you got to find out through either parents or some other source instead of the main the main source that it should be coming from which is the person that's terminating you should i say so uh whether it's called termination or layoff whatever the heck it is i think it's really screwed you know it's already bad enough that teachers have a hard time you know enough as it is you know dealing with 
bad kids or you know they're already underpaid um they're not respected like they should be and they're not given enough credit like they should be i mean should be given and it's just not right and i was really upset when i found out about it yesterday and i felt really bad because my son's really close to her um i liked her a lot she was an awesome teacher she was really nice and stuff so i went to um a store yesterday and got her some flowers and a teddy bear and a thank you card and had my son give it to her and present it to her um yesterday when I picked him up and it was so sad she was so happy and stuff though but I just felt so bad like this world is just I mean our state California just sucks period I don't know if it happens in other states where teachers I'm pretty sure it is where they go through some massive layoff or they just go and start terminating a whole bunch of motherfuckers excuse my language or what but <coughs> Sorry, you guys, my camera shifted when I turned. But, um, yeah, I just thought that was really messed up. Other than that, you guys, everything is good. I'm on my way back home. Just dropped my daughter off. About to go home and clean up. Go wash these blankets like I told you guys and get ready for the day. I don't have much going on today because it's raining. I don't like driving out in rain unless I have to. So, and then I'm gonna throw my cabbage on and start cooking my cabbage because I was craving cabbage. So when I went grocery shopping, sorry you guys, I'm just tripping. When I went grocery shopping, when I went grocery shopping the other day, um, I got cabbage to cook. But other than that, so I'm gonna end this and that is it and I will talk to you guys later, bye.